All right. Well, last night in Ohio, voters shot down a GOP measure. You probably heard about it. That would have made it more difficult to add abortion rights to the state's constitution. The subsequent spiking of the football, of course, on the left, well, it was predictable. It has been a potent, potent uh, political punch in the gut against Republicans who have been trying to take away women's rights. Coming out of Dobbs, Republicans are simply out of step with the majority of voters. What we saw last night is such an important victory as we head to a critical vote, which should be made by the people. This is all they have to run on. Remember that. Wasn't Joe Scarborough pro-life at one point? I guess I forgot that. Of course, the decisions should be made by the people. That was the whole point of overturning Roe versus Wade. That's what democracy is. In fact, a new CNN poll found that 66 percent of those are happy with a court's decision to overturn Roe, that they want pro-life politicians to leave abortion decisions up to each state. And that's what we see happening across the country. Look, I don't agree with Ohio's decision here, and I'll, I'm never going to apologize for being pro-life, but we wanted the issue to go to the voters, take it out of the hands of unelected judges and justices, and give it to the people. And you know, let the politicians try to persuade voters one way or another. But running away from this issue as a Republican, it's not going to work. Becoming, like, what, pro-abortion? Well, the, you know, voters would consider that to be evil. Uh, so we have to fight it out state by state. And we should ignore the voices of those who think the Dobbs decision was wrongly decided and that abortion should be enshrined in the Constitution. Our framers never would have considered it. The left understands that some principles are more important than short-term election results. They know that their views offend Christians and other social conservatives across the country. And they know that that actually costs them elections all across the country. Issues like trans rights and so forth. But they don't care. They stick to their guns and they try to change minds on their side. And sometimes they succeed. For years, they defended the left wing decisions of the Warren court, even as Nixon and Reagan rode those decisions to victory. And of course, they pushed to impose gay marriage on every state, even when the voters were against it. So if they can fight for their beliefs and they can fight for their principles, we can and we should fight for ours. And one more thing, it's a real mistake to think that the GOP could have lied forever to the voters about its views on abortion, that it could claim to be pro-life, but always keep Roe in place. That's the type of cynical thinking that caused GOP voters to turn on the Bushes, then, of course, turn on the Cheneys and pick Trump instead. Overturning Roe versus Wade is the greatest accomplishment the conservative movement has had since the end of the Cold War. We should be proud of it and build on it not run away from it. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.